Um, hey guys, it's me Chora King and welcome back to another GT Online video and it's Thursday again and we have a new vehicle into the game released today which is the Al Albany VSTR so let's go ahead and uh, read the description now before we can purchase this so the description says looking for something wild climb inside the fierce VSTR and listen to the growl as it bears bears that distinctive grill and charges the competition with with this much untamed energy get ready to lose control F figuratively obviously this high performance luxury sedan is the jewel in albany's crown so let's go ahead and order this car in the color red and this is gonna set us back 1.285 million dollars it's almost 1.3 million so let's go ahead and order this to be delivered in my nightclub garage so this will be here shortly so then we can continue the video So yeah guys, our VSTR just got delivered to the garage and uh, in this garage I have uh, all my Albany collection right here, uh, excluding that one. So yeah guys, this car right here, the Albany Alpha was one of my favorite vehicles back in when it was released, I think about 2 or 3 years ago. So this car was really quick and handled pretty well. And now we have a new Albany vehicle into the game, the STR. They look uh, pretty similar, but this is a four-door vehicle. And I think this is a sports vehicle as well. So let's hop in and see how it sounds. That's pretty nice, so let's take it outside. So this right here is uh, looks like a luxury vehicle or a sedan but it is actually going to be in the sports class and I think this is going to be one of the quickest cars or sports cars into the game because uh, since this vehicle came out today and I've been seeing a lot of videos on on uh, YouTube which uh, refer or suggest that this is one of the fastest sports car or one of the sports car which goes at, at the highest max speed so it handles pretty well as as well as the traction is pretty good and also the acceleration for this car being stock right now and this looks pretty luxurious in my opinion as well reminds me of okay of Cadillac or something how it looks from the back so it will be interesting to see what sort of deliveries does this car have maybe a two-tone livery or some crazy sports deliveries as well so that's enough of driving around so let's just turn back right here and head to the LS custom shop I am pretty pretty excited to customize this vehicle actually and this this vehicle is one of the vehicles which do not have the trade price so you can just hop on GTA online and buy this at the cheapest price right now which is 1.285 million dollars which isn't all that expensive but it's not cheap cheap either so let's go ahead and buy the performance first we have brakes engine then we have the suspension I don't know why they are gonna turn the chambers of this car as well so we're gonna go with the street suspension right here we have transmission and then we have turbo alright so let's start from the top from the front bumpers we have right here so we have about seven options we have the stock front bumper then we have the custom splitter we have the carbon custom splitter street spl splitter then we have the carbon street uh, splitter 
aftermarket splitter and then carbon aftermarket splitter I'm not gonna go for these actually I'm gonna keep this car as luxurious and simple looking as possible so now we have the exhaust option we have the stock exhaust then we have the oval exhausts same thing in carbon we have twin bore exhausts then we have the same thing in aluminium and titanium and as well as carbon then we have the big bore exhaust themselves just two pipes coming out of that section of the bumper then we have the same thing in aluminium titanium and carbon and then we have the twin split exhaust that looks pretty awesome then we also have the rear skirt exhausts I'm not sure why this is an option but that looks interesting so we have these options we have the rear skirt exhaust same thing in secondary and carbon and then we have the mid skirt exhausts pretty interesting stuff right there same thing with the secondary and car uh, carbon skirts then we have none so I might keep leave the stock because I like the design of those exhausts right there so maybe we can see if there is a bag bumper option which there isn't I think so we're just gonna leave the exhaust to stock alright so we have grill options we have stock grills and then we have uh, D-Badge grills of course I'll, I'd like to keep the badge on my car so now we have the hood options we have the stock hood, carbon stock hood a smooth hood carbon smooth hood vented hood carbon vented hood scoop hood same thing in carbon performance hood then same thing in carbon again then we have the albany hood which looks pretty nice in my opinion we have the same thing in carbon right here then we have the vented albany hood same thing in carbon and that's it so we have about 14 options I think the stock hood looks pretty nice as well but I might get this one we'll select this after the respray now we have the hood latches I am not gonna apply these since it's a luxury car sort of thing then we have the mirror options right here we have the stock mirrors primary mirror carbon mirror then we have the aftermarket mirrors same thing in secondary and carbon so do these look better on this car I don't think so the stock ones are pretty nice themselves and then we have the roof modification options we have the stock roof secondary roof and then carbon roof we will get into back later maybe we have the skirt options we have the st stock skirt street skirt then we have the carbon street skirt race skirt and then we have the carbon race skirt so we are gonna apply the carbon street skirt or should we just go with plastic yeah we're gonna go with plastic then we have the spoiler options right here so we have the stock spoiler option here we have the same thing in carbon then we have the low level spoiler ducktail spoiler that also applies a little spoiler on the roof of the car then m moving on we have the same thing in secondary color and carbon as well I think it's just the spoiler on the roof which is changing since when we select carbon it changes and then we have the GT spo spoiler we have the drag spoiler and then we have the bolted ducktail spoiler so I'm not sure of these I might just go for this one and this is funny how the traction changes when I just apply the carbon one which is kind of funny we'll select these later after the respray as well and now the vortex generators then we can apply 
there is none then we have the vertex generator same thing in secondary and carbon we'll get back into that later as well so let's go ahead and quickly respray this vehicle to gray let's just go with the truck steel over here and there is also also a trim color selection which we will customize later so let's just jump straight into the livery options so we have uh, none then we have the black stripes we have the white stripes and we have the two-tone color which is I think the bottom the top end of the car is, pa is uh, painted gray moving on we have the number five red pinstripe then we have the same thing in the color blue then we have the geo livery pretty interesting stuff moving on we have the atomic drifter I don't see this vehicle as a drift car so let's see what else do we have we have the offset camo same thing which I applied to the SUV which came from this game uh, this update I mean the next livery is called Albany Racer this looks pretty nice as well then the last one is the Jet Sand GT so this is gonna be a hard decision and I might even not apply any livery to this vehicle so yeah guys let me quickly respray this vehicle then maybe I can select one so yeah guys now we are done with the respray I went for the uh, carbonate red and for the pearlescent coat we went for the yellow I think so let's just check that out as well yes it's yellow and for the secondary paint I just went for the metal brushed steel and trim color I thought was the gonna be for all the metal accents for this vehicle but turns out it was only the color of the seats inside so yeah I didn't change uh, anything else except from the number plates and the spoiler we just selected the carbon stock spoiler which also improved my traction so yeah I actually didn't check into the vortex generators should we apply this no, I'm just gonna leave it to stock, yeah, and I didn't even change the rims. I only applied the light shade uh, tints and just resprayed the car, and that's about it. So, yeah, that was this is gonna be one of the quickest modification videos, I would say. And I went for a sort of a bold respray option, but turns out it looks pretty good even when it is almost evening into the game so yeah this is a pretty nice vehicle and actually i wasn't expecting much uh, customization options with this car either so you have to see if this car actually performs that well in races and against other sp sports cars it is actually pretty fast and there was some good turning by this car as well so there's this turn right here go on the highway so yeah guys this is gonna be a short video and if you enjoyed this video do leave a like rating comment any feedback or requests you'd like to see on this channel and i actually pretty uh, i like the shape of this vehicle it's a really delicate and, uh, and luxury looking vehicle and I'm surprised this is a sports vehicle I guess since it performs so well and that's one of the reasons this car is in the sports class and let's see how fast it goes on a straight road we have a decent length rope right here let's see how fast we can go on this so yeah that's about it do uh, stay tuned to the channel and subscribe because i'm gonna be telling you guys how you can 
make extra money playing these two weeks ahead of us this one and the next one it's gonna be about two million dollars so subscribe to the channel for that that video will be out tomorrow so yeah guys this one was pretty quick and usually my modification videos are pretty lengthy so we're just gonna cut this one short and maybe we can improve that in the future videos so yeah if you're new do remember to subscribe and leave a right like rating if you enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one we just enter our garage right here so we can compare and see how it looks against the other albany cars so yeah if it's a pretty fun vehicle and i'm sure it's a good investment since it performs that well i just need to take this vehicle in a race or two to check the performance of it but i am pretty happy with this vehicle it looks similar to the albany alpha we have right here but this one is more elegant i would say the lights look pretty awesome and also from the back i am really a fan of this vehicle so i'm pretty happy with this vehicle so yeah guys take care and i will see you in the next video bye bye and have a nice day